Hey guys, Dave the NC Picker. How is it going? Hope you guys are doing good. It's kind of funny. Last time I recorded, I was talking about the Skylanders that I was listing. I was listing, oh, I'm sorry, not Skylanders, Disney Infinity characters. Let me just, hold on, let's intro first. Dave the NC Picker slash NC Flipper. I resell on eBay and Mercari and whatnot and a bunch of other platforms. And today in this video, we will pull my orders see what I sold, see how much I got for them, and see if I'm losing my mind, because I think I am. In the last video I did, I was telling you guys how I had listed a bunch of Disney Infinity characters on eBay as an auction. And then while I was recording, I went and I tried to find that auction to see how it was doing. Sadly, I could not find it, and I decided, you know what, probably because I'm busy, I accidentally never listed it, so I'll need to go in and list it at some point, because something went wrong. Well, <laughs> I went into my drafts that night, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in my drafts, I couldn't find it in my actives, I couldn't find it in anywhere. And then today I get a notification that it sold. That the, yeah, at auction, it was in auction, and it sold at auction today. So, shows what I know. I started the auction at $69, because I had 69 Disney Infinity characters. First of all, we sold Quiddler. This is a sealed card game worth almost nothing, so don't buy it. Uh, I sold it for $9. Well, I mean, you could buy it if it's a penny or a nickel or a dime. <laughs> sold for $9 plus shipping. Uh, so as I'm starting this recording, I'm now trying to remember where I put them because I didn't put any label. And then as I was pulling Quiddler just now, I spotted the Disney Infinity characters. So really, the moral of the story is I'm losing my mind, but I'm still getting lucky and selling stuff I don't know I've listed and finding stuff that I don't know where it is. And so we call that a win. These are all Disney Infinity characters, just total random lot of Disney Infinity, 69 pieces, giant Walmart bag full. We just did an auction, like I said, and uh, we brought in more than I expected. <coughs> that lot sold for $101.00 plus shipping and the buyer paid immediately. So we brought in $100 from those Disney Infinity characters. I got those um, at Michelle's. So Michelle sold me all these Spawn action figures. She also sold me these Disney Infinity figures. She gave me a great deal. Um, because the Disney Infinity weren't worth much, I decided to do a big bundle and do an auction and 100 bucks. I'm happy with that. Michelle also was telling me she's selling a bunch of Legos. You know, if you saw the video, she had all these brand new sealed Legos. Um, at her daughter's, that were her daughter's that her daughter never got around to. She told me she's now opened an eBay store. I've inspired her, and she's selling her Legos on eBay. I'll link her eBay store below if you guys want to go check out her Legos. Maybe send her some business uh, after the great deal she gave me. So, and encourage a new reseller. Uh, so up next, we've got TD3. We sold a helicopter. I think I have a couple helicopters in here. Maybe. Uh, these are micro machines. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, so this is the one that sold. This is a green helicopter micro machine. Sold for ten bucks plus shipping, nine ninety nine technically. Uh, I think I told you guys I went over to the thrift store in the area, and they had a bag of what looked like micro machines <laughs> for fifty four dollars. And on the bag, they had a printed eBay listing of a sold on eBay that had sold for two hundred and ten dollars. And mind you, I'm not going to be fooled by any sort of nonsense um, as far as like eBay listings, what the souls are. At least they use a sold, not an active. I did appreciate that about it. But it looked like a bag full of micro machines, probably like 40 or 50 micro machines. And, you know, most of the time, micro machines are going to be worth, worst case scenario, three to five dollars a piece. That's your worst case generally with a micro machine. Every now and then they're worth less, but usually they're worth at least that much. So I figured, hey, 50 of them, you know, if I sell them for three bucks a piece, that's 150 bucks for a $50 buy. I'll take that. You know, that's a decent ROI. And a lot of times there's micro machines like the helicopter that are worth 10 bucks or 20 bucks or 15 bucks. So I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. Uh, I sold these Wee Nunchucks. Had these listed forever. And this kind of goes with my theory that once winter starts getting into full bore, that the gaming stuff starts selling again. So that certainly seems to be what's happening. Sold those two Nunchucks for 12 bucks. Plus shipping, so no huge money, but something. So I won't belabor the point, because I might have already told you, but like two-thirds of those micro machines were not micro machines. They were Road Champs or Imperial, which are like two competing brands that are not as collectible. I sold Santa Fe on DVD, brand new sealed. Um, so yeah, it's a little disappointing. I hope to get my 50 bucks back, but I'm not confident anymore in that micro machine buy. 
So Santa Fe sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. It's not bad. Uh, and then we sold some out of D3, which is right here. Actually, I think we sold two things out of here. We sold this Wii controller, Wii Classic Pro. I cannot remember where I got this. Um, I just don't remember. Got it at a yard sale. I know it was at a yard sale because I remember coming home with it on a Saturday. Maybe it was Donnie's? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Every now and then I lose track, but that sold for good money. And then Vitiv, V-I-T-I-V, uh, Daily Hair Vitamins sold. So I sold those two items. And let's see, the Daily Hair Vitamins sold for 20 bucks. And the Wii controller sold for a lot. Let me find it. So I did ship a lot of items today already. <laughs> uh, I did a whatnot auction for video games last night. And where did I say bin 65? Oh, that's the vitamin one. Or not the vitamin, the uh, makeup one. Yeah, so I did a whatnot auction last night. I sold over 100 items, like 114 items or something. And it was like almost three hours long. And it was pretty tiring, but fun. And uh, ended up having to wake up at 5.20 this morning to start shipping because I knew I wouldn't have time to ship that many orders after work. So I went ahead and I shipped from like 5.30 to 7.30. And then uh, <laughs> after that, I worked, and then after work, which I finished at like 5, 5.15, I had an early stop at work today, which was nice. Uh, I went and I shipped more of that. That's why you already see a bunch of packages over here on the floor sacked up. A lot of them already got picked up by the mailman since I packed so early in the morning. So it was kind of nice to get them out the door. So it was kind of nice to get them out the door before the day even really started. I don't know what I'm looking for. I stink at pulling makeup. I got a lot of hydro firming day cream. I don't know. No, I'm looking for a nail thing. Anywho, we got all that shipped uh, by six ish. So it is now, I don't know, it's got to be nearing seven just because, you know, dinner and all that such stuff. Uh, added some time. Let's see what time it is. It's like, yeah, 6 45. So, but now we're starting our eBay. So we got 24 eBay items to ship out. Got to pack these up tonight. Um, I sold this Avon color nail wear, nail enamel. Boring, boring, boring. Five bucks. Plus shipping. Uh, and then after I do that, I have to get ready for a whatnot auction tomorrow night. I'm doing another one tomorrow night. Now, I'm not planning on doing these auctions twice a week. <laughs> I'm not always going to even do them once a week, but I am doing them twice this week because they're doing this promotion. And as any good reseller watching this knows, if you have a promotion that removes all fees, you should participate. And they sent me a private invite to the uh, vintage clothing category no fee week which is this week and if you get accepted or whatever and so yeah i got that invite and obviously if i can get no fees on a whole au auction that's like awesome so i opted to do it so i'm doing that tomorrow night friday and uh yeah it should be good i do have to prepare for it i have to like load in the items into the auction and all that fun stuff so i've got some work to do tonight so the plan is to ship all this stuff record this say hi to you guys um and then i'll probably bring the hats inside sit down and just list them all and whatnot I sold Endless Ocean on the Wii uh, without the case or manual. Sold that for 10 bucks. We sold a lot of video games last night. We sold an Atari 5200 last night. We sold uh, just all types of fun stuff. And I was able to record some of the auction too, so I need to edit that. Uh, you know, I'm going out of town, so it'll be something for you guys to watch while I'm gone. And uh, yeah, we shouldn't miss too many days of the NC Flippers, but we might miss one. I'm just not sure yet. You know, you gotta prioritize breaks every now and then so you don't burn out. I'm sure you guys can appreciate that. So I do have to do that. Now I normally do three videos a week on this channel. I sold this Vintage Mastermind, the original version. That's like a board game. I usually do three videos a week. I plan on trying to keep up with that. Mastermind sold for 11 bucks, so it's not really great. But I'm not sure if I will. So I probably will use that auction video once I get it edited. I'm gonna try to find a fun way to edit it so it's entertaining as a replacement for a daily video. There's some pretty funny stuff that happens, some highlights that you might appreciate and enjoy. So I'll try to make it short, like 20 minutes, just do some highlights, talk about it. I did record like, you know, me pulling the orders a little bit, packing them a little bit. So I think you will find it interesting. Uh, so you might expect to see that sometime next week. Give it a shot uh, if I do it. Although I expect it to be like a last place video because it is unique content um, and it's not necessarily what you're looking for. Uh, I sold Chuck E. Cheese. I bought this off whatnot from Kerry in an auction for I think five bucks. He's missing an eye. And these old Chuck E. Cheese plush can be good money. And actually I found one in my storage unit too. Where did it go? I don't know where it went, but it was like a girl Chuck E. Cheese. 
uh, Bonnie. No, it's not Bonnie. I can't remember. But it's worth like $45. And it was just sitting in my storage unit. I didn't even realize I had it. So it's kind of funny when that happens. Um, but yeah, so Chuck E. Cheese sold for 20 bucks, which, you know, missing an eye, I'm happy with that. Definitely not going to complain. This video will get released either Monday or Wednesday. I might release the auction video before this one. It just depends on the edit and what I decide to do. So either tonight or two nights from now, I'll be doing probably my last auction of the year on whatnot, because it'll be Wednesday. I am going to do action figures, I think, just because I love them and it's fun. Um, so my plan is to do action figures. I keep finding action figures, too, at the thrift store. So I figure it's kind of a good thing to run. I've got tons of Star Wars, stuff like that. So I think I can have some fun with an action figure auction. Sold this uh, Prince of Persia Warrior Within for $7 plus shipping. That's PC. After I do that action figure auction on Wednesday, do you guys care about my plans? I tell you anyway. So <laughs> uh, the plan is to actually be off of my day job Thursday and Friday and actually take a break, um, basically. That's two days before Christmas. So the Thursday before Christmas, I'm off and I'm not going to, I'm going to shut down my eBay store. I will have some videos uh, pre-recorded for you and I'll shut down my eBay store. I'm going to go down to Florida. We're going to have some fun down there. You know, maybe watch me on Instagram. I'll probably put some stories. Make sure you follow me over there and see picker and see underscore picker. It's one or the other. You'll know when you find me because uh, I'll try to do some stories while I'm out and doing fun stuff. But yeah, so I plan on shutting down everything, not doing any auctions or anything like that until... January 5th, I think. Uh, I'm going to try to have, you know, the podcast for you guys recorded and ready to go. So, you know, it's... I don't feel like you're going to notice a huge gap. Like, I've got the yard sale videos already ready and scheduled. I am still working on some thumbnails. But other than that, they're ready to go. So I think I'll be able to fully, like, uncut, like, cut off total break for, like, a week and three days or something. So I'm excited about that. Except, like I said, I'll probably be on Instagram just saying hey and showing you what's going on. I sold some Rodan and Fields. Love it when I sell Rodan and Fields. And I paid five bucks for this. Sold it for $65 plus shipping. Yeah, that's pretty good. 8B. All right, next item is an 8B. Yeah, I should do another live stream on my uh, channel at some point. Definitely won't be till after the break. All right, so very recently, you'll remember that I ended up having a ton of orders on a Tuesday night. Like 37 orders on a Tuesday night. And uh, I also had that Mercari issue. So I sold Ichi, I-C-H-I. It's a DVD, I think. Sold that for $13.90. So yeah, I had this issue on Mercari. So let's start at the beginning. We had an issue on Mercari where I shipped the wrong item, reached out to the customer, or the customer reached out to me and said, hey, I got the wrong item. It was a spawn figure. I said, well, don't worry. I still have the figure. I can send it to you. We can do a swap. They said, well, don't do a swap. I want to keep this one. So I sold them the figure they already had bought or they had already received. I sold them that one. And then I was going to fulfill the one that I didn't send by accident, essentially. I know that's a lot to take in. So hopefully you got it. But the important part is to understand I sent the wrong item and I was trying to fix it. And on top of that, I sold satin lips, which looks lo lovely on me. <laughs> uh, sat satin lips lip balm, $14.99 plus shipping. And that is Mary Kay. I'm totally a makeup dealer. What I did is I packed up, so we got that all figured out. I packed up her new item that she wanted and I had it with my big stack of eBay orders. I had 37 eBay orders and this one Mercari order. And Tina came out and helped me. Elijah came out and helped me. I was not alone this night. Everyone was helping me. It was really nice of them. And it made it go a lot quicker to have the help. So that was awesome. But whenever you have three people shipping in a space like this, things get confused sometimes. And I managed to mix in the Mercari package with the USPS stuff and forget to ship or print a label. I forgot to print a label for it. So it was in there with all the Mer or all the eBay stuff. Well, I'm on the hunt for a no snap, but I don't see one. I know I have some left. I sold one for $26.99. I'll pull it after the video. Put all the packages out at the door or at the mailbox because I do do that. My mailman lives in my neighborhood, and uh, I do have a camera on them watching the packages. I can look at the packages whenever I want, and I live in a pretty safe neighborhood. So I feel comfortable doing it with all this, the measures I have in place to keep them safe. If someone really wanted to steal all my eBay orders, I'll have them on camera, and, you know, they'd get in trouble. Or they wouldn't, and we'd have a great story to tell and a bunch of sad eBay customers, so hopefully that never happens. Basically, he it ended up out there with all the eBay orders. The mailman took it not realizing it and he usually uh he usually scans all my stuff 
But sometimes he doesn't scan it till he gets to the post office. He doesn't always scan it at the door. Today, I chased him down and I said, hey, yesterday one of my 12 by 12 by 8 box number sevens, which I did find a pack of those under my stairs over there, which was pretty exciting. I'm almost out of them again, but it was cool to find some. 25 of them to be exact. Someone did say if you order a 10 pack, you might get it quicker. Uh, so I found, I chased down the mailman, I talked to him and he said he, don't, he doesn't remember, he didn't see it. it. It might be lost basically. So this customer who I've already shipped the wrong item on Mercari now is expecting this correct item and I don't have it. So I'm pretty depressed about it. I sold this knife. This is a, uh, let's say Harold Ensley. Yeah, Harold Ensley vintage stainless steel fishing fillet knife with sheath. Sold this for $20 plus shipping. Filet knives usually aren't that good, but I think it's that name that made that one sell. So part of my tasks tonight are to email that customer and disappoint them greatly. And I don't know. If it was eBay, I'd just send them a refund and say sorry, but I don't even know how to do that on Mercari. So it's a whole separate thing while I'm blowing out the uh, highlights here. Let's see. Can we fix it? No. Eh. <laughs> I sold a uh, Sweet Smell of Success, some old movie with Burt Lancaster that I've never heard of. And we sold that for how much? $13.99 plus shipping. And we sold out of bin 51, some sort of porcelain thingy. <sighs> yeah, but I am I am pretty pretty down about that. About having to email that customer. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be the worst. It's gonna be so awkward. Like, hey, remember how I screwed up that first time? Well, I screwed up again. And listen, I like to talk about food. You know, we had the biscuit conversation. Now let's talk about this Fruity Pebbles mess called the uh, Frankford King Size Fruity Pebbles Candy Bar. The thing's a nightmare. It's totally disgusting. Don't eat it. You know what happened is around Halloween time, there was uh, a bunch of Kit Kats floating around that were Fruity, Ple Fruity, Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles flavored. And they were really delicious. And, you know, I may have stolen a bunch from my kids from their little candy baskets. And, uh, yeah. Tina noticed that I liked them, and she wants to keep me as fat as possible, you know, which I understand, you know. <laughs> um, so she went and she tried to find me that and found me that other Fruity, fruity Pebble things instead, thing instead, but it's some sort of knockoff, and it tastes... Oh, that was close. And the best way I can really describe it is it tastes like rancid milk, like just nasty old milk. So don't get that brand, whatever it was, ooh. Um, all right, so I sold this lighted house. This is porcelain Dickens collectibles. I think we've determined that these are not usually a good buy, so probably avoid them. 10 bucks plus shipping. Can I show you what I found today at the thrift store? It's pretty awesome. I'm not supposed to be sourcing, <laughs> I know. I know that's what you're thinking, but I can't help myself. Uh, look at this, Space Jam, MJ and Bugs. Uh, brand new in the package, three bucks. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna put it up on Whatnot. Um, it's worth 50 on eBay. So I could just list it on eBay, but I'll put it on Whatnot because I like having fun stuff on there. It won't, it won't get as much money as that, but I'd be happy if you got like 20, 25. I'd be pleased with that. So let's see, M4, we sold something. What is M4? That's not even a bin anymore. I mean, remember when I had the bins that were like totally wild named? <laughs> M4, M7, C C16. All right, I sold this guy. This was uh. What is it? A Whoville thing? Cole's Care, Dr. Seuss. Sneeches. Yeah, I remember the Sneeches because they had like the different star bellied. Star bellied Sneeches. Yeah, I remember that. There was a movie about that. I'm going down memory lane here. Buyer's note Hello, I'm buying this for my two year old for Christmas, so please mail it as soon as you can. Thanks, Mike. All right, well, he ordered it today, so. Oh, I hear a UPS truck. I just wish. I wish the mailman would just show up because, like I said, he lives here. So, like. There's been times where he's just shown up, like late at night, and said, hey, I found this in my car, you know, this was yours, blah de blah de blah So, it's possible. Oh, Elijah made a sale. I'm going to pull him out for that. I sold a cup out of Skew 41. It's a pickle cup. That's kind of cool. I mean, I feel like people are still buying Christmas gifts, and a lot of it's going to end in disappointment. <laughs> because I don't think these things are going to get there in time. Where's Bin 41? Down here. Man, nothing ever sells out of these things down here. Like, I thought these would because these are like kind of fun gifts, right? This is a pickle coffee mug. It says, I'm kind of a big dill. Real cheesy. Um, but they haven't been moving like I thought they would. 
Like, what, what is this? This is stupid. I should just throw this out or something. This is a shirt that I got, and it's just so stained. Look at You can't even see, but it's like all yellowed around the collar. I got it at a yard sale. I don't even know why I'm pretending like that's ever going to sell, because it's not going to. It's not going to. These Christmas Santas didn't sell. These stained glass ones. I'm just kind of looking at all the stuff that I thought would sell at Christmas and didn't. But whatever. Big Dill coffee cup did sell. And it sold for, I think, $10? No. Yes, $10 plus shipping. I'm kind of a big dill. I'm kind of a big dill, guys. A big dill. Clip that. <laughs> discontinued 2011. So I'm about to pull some Mary Kay that was discontinued in 2011. That's crazy. I got this at a yard sale. I think these were like um, three for a dollar or five for two dollars. There was a couple different tables with all these random prices. That video is going to go live pretty soon, maybe before this video airs. Um, and it was one of those. Yeah, I think it will. It was one of those Mary Kays I got on all those tables that they had. Yeah, so I don't see an expiration date on it, but it says in the listing uh, discontinued 2011. So Tina must have found that in the listing. And uh, that's just crazy. 2011, it sells 10 years later for 20 bucks plus shipping. Not bad. And she did actually take it out of the package so she, she could photograph the actual item just to show that the consistency was right to those people who uh, are expecting a certain thing out of that. I also found this. Now, this is cool, but not worth much. This is a uh, Star Wars Ray and BB-8, but it's die cast. It's actually made of metal. That's going to go in my whatnot, too, probably before you see this video. But uh, I thought that was cool. I paid way too much for it. I paid $15. <laughs> for the whatnot, like, I, I find myself, like, paying up a little for some items so that there can be some, like, super fun items that are just fun to bid on, even if I do lose a tiny bit of money. There's still a bunch of money, or a bunch of items that I paid very small amounts for that I'm making money on. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm not an auction professional, but I'm trying to learn. Like, I want people to get great deals and have fun. And, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit. I left 440 feedback today. I'm so bad with feedback. <laughs> Uh, I like I let it stockpile. This is the worst. I let it stockpile and then I give it all at one time. So I gave 440 random positive feedbacks today to buyers, and I currently have 443 listings eligible to send offers, and I'm tempted to do it, guys. I really am, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm thinking. Well, no, I shouldn't because I'm going out of town, so I'm not gonna do it. Because remember, I'm going to Carowinds. It doesn't really matter, but. I'm going to Carowinds for Winterfest Saturday night, and so we're leaving Saturday morning I go yard sailing, and then Saturday night, Friday night I do the auction. Saturday morning I go yard sailing. Saturday at noon I go over to Carowinds, I stay there till 11, I stay in a hotel, and then I come home and I do all my shipping for the whatnot, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a crazy weekend. I'm having fun, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, I like being busy. This is kind of the, the life I choose for myself, but uh, yeah, it's busy. All right, I'm randomly putting this in the video. I forgot. I finished the whole video and forgot to show you the coolest item that sold. I sold my super soaker. <laughs> Weird time for it to sell in the middle of winter, but it's the uh, super soaker CPS 2000. It does not work. Otherwise, I would have gotten a lot more money for it. Working condition, these sell for like 200 bucks, guys. I bought it for three at a yard sale, sold it for 75 in leaky broken condition so i even tried to glue it back together but it didn't work but i took pictures of all that and uh yeah 75 dollars plus shipping on this awesome super soaker so cool now i gotta figure out how to ship it so thank you guys for watching that's all the orders let's see what our total is really quick it looks like it is 826 bucks 24 items uh 130 to ship i think it said so that's 700 and then minus all the crazy fees that ebay has nowadays I haven't turned off my promoted yet. I want to, but I figured I'd wait till I went on winter break. So what I'm going to do is when I go for vacation, I'm also going to turn off all my promoteds and just like, I'm going to halt my store basically. <laughs> and then I will, uh, you know, juice it up with a campaign right in the beginning of January, like a new year sale where everything's like 15% off or something. So, okay. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.